you guys both had um, several wise, like big games that kind of propelled you back into the end of playing time. I think for you, Arch, it was the Virginia Tech game, right? Yeah. Ten points, two threes. That very important to have those two threes. <laughs> but like, was that did that game give you the most like confidence per se? Man, that game gave me too much confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I I I went to bed smiling, woke up smiling. I had a good practice the next day. Mm-hmm. But um, in my high school team, they had to take a visit to Clemson. They had, play, they yeah. had a game at Clemson, so right after that, they just made my confidence yeah. even more uh, prevalent because you know my high school was like, man, you played great last night. All the coaches <laughs> were so supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that game really, I wouldn't say that game. I would say probably the Iowa game. When we played them before. Yeah. Oh, that game was crazy. I would say that game okay, was Chase that, Hunter legacy game. Yeah, it was. Uh that game really let me know I could be a good player. Mm-hmm. Uh, just in this league. I can have a great career. I play at the next level. So yeah. yeah. And then Chauncey was yours the Wake Forest game? Uh I know that you obviously had a good game against Georgia Tech, but like Wake game we played yeah. really well. Yeah, I would say Wake. Um Wake it was just, you know, I knew I knew Chase and Alex were her, so I knew like I had to step in and make some big time shots and guard. Uh, I forgot his name, number four on there. But yeah, it was probably that game. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, the George Tech game, you obviously had a big Ooh. game. <laughs> um, how did you play? Did you play all right in that game, RJ? I played all right, but the he, he was playing. <laughs> yeah, that game was crazy. No, nah, he wasn't missing. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I think. We we always get our coffee in us, you know. Yeah, me, yeah we do this. Coffee? Yeah. yeah, me and him, we get the coffee together. We got pre, pre-game. Like a little Jimmy Butler type here right there. Yeah. Um, and then I think I was just, like, very happy. Uh, I think I was happy about something off the court. And then I walked in the locker room. I seen the purple jerseys. I was like, dang, like, this might be our only time playing in the purple jersey, yeah. even though we play against them in Florida State. But mm-hmm. I was like, dang, we just got it. We gotta go out here and win in the purple jersey. Yeah, yeah. Then it was also against some Georgia Tech guys, so I was like, "And you were familiar with them before?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. he coaches. was talking crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was talking. Yeah, on a little uh, mid range. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would say uh, the weight game and the Tech game really like boosted my confidence because yeah. I know what I can be. So yeah. Dude, what was up with that Selly against Tech? Oh my god. What, what was going? Oh. Through? What was that, bro? What was that? Oh. oh. So I think I seen like the maybe lunch three. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe like I seen J. Uh, it wasn't J.R. Smith. I think like when I shoot the ball, I like land like I land low like on my own time. I just mm-hmm. shoot, I just shoot threes, mm-hmm. and for some reason it just it just came out. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not really back. It's not a backstory to it. I got another mm-hmm. one uh, next season. Next season. Hey, we, we were trying to come up with one <laughs> uh-huh. in the workout yesterday because. Uh, we were, we were all over here watching the Bron game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, was so like, tough. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, me, you, Dylan, we need to get a little handshake. You, you know about uh, Malik Beasley? Oh, the Beasley. Uh-